Test, 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 test. Hello there, how's it going? Um, hello there. Um, welcome to the webcam. Hello Gary, Wicked, oh that guy. I'll just wait until about maybe a hundred viewers and then and then we'll get we'll get on with it. Hello Quentin Cadbury. We're gonna be we're gonna be learning about some meditation. Know that I'm gonna try and teach you it and you don't already know about meditation if you do just for the people who are interested in it. My, my, my take on it anyway. Hello Gary the Pagan. Just uh, come in, take a seat. Before I get started, um, before I get started, You might notice that um, down the bottom there, some of my previous webcams are archived. Not a lot of them, just some of them. Uh, I press the button to make the uh, past webcams available to watch. Don't know what's on them. But, uh, so if you want to watch this back again, you can look at it there. Or, or that guy there, uh, absolutely a legend of archive and who have gave express permission to capitalise on the, the hard work he does to archive my material. Uh, uh, he'll sort you there, or that guy will sort you on Twitter if you want to follow me. His yeah, username is Guy Woodward, uh, can't remember, 69, let's see. Tell it, let's see if it's 69 and his name might write Dirty Bastard, let's see, is it? E guy Woodward. 89 uh, I'll just wait until it hits 100 viewers and then we'll get and then we'll get started I'll tell you all about this If I seem a wee bit kind of tired, it's because I'm a bit tired, and also I've been eating, I've been, pff, I've been eating the wrong thing tonight. I've seen these kind of no sweeties, but it's kind of uh, yogurt a biscuit sort of stuff, and it's so nice. I just couldn't help it. I just couldn't help having it. But that's one of the things we looking after your mental health. If you have, if you eat shit then um, it fucks me. But anyway, just wait until that gets to 100 viewers and then, then we're up and running. So hello everybody. Just wait until, once it, once it says 100 views, that'll be that, right? 100 viewers, just go on with it then. Just take a seat, just relax. Take a seat, relax. I'm just going to give you my personal take on meditation. What I regard as meditation, it's 
no, no, not nothing special about it. But see what you think. Right, 113 viewers, let's just get on with it. Have I gave it? Evening, uh, Rachel. Evening, Liam. Mick. French. Meow Meow. Timmy. Sean Roscoe. Rory. Rory Banks says, Alright, let me get any tips for my second date this Friday. We're not going to be talking about that this evening, Rory. We're not going to be talking about you putting your wee fucking, your wee willy up uh, some lassie's arse. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to be talking about that this evening. We're going to be talking about meditation, if you don't mind. Right, let's get on with it. Let's go on with business. Right, now I'm not going to waffle on about fucking antidepressants or, the, or that sort of thing, my personal journey and all that. Um, because I did that last night, I went on and on and on and on. I said to everybody, come on and I'll talk about meditation and how it's helped me. And then I just went fucking on for about um, an hour. Until I, until I finally started talking about meditation. Anyway, here's here's meditation to me. Anyway, here's what helps me. What uh, I found out about meditation, or I look, what I what I do is, uh, and I know I'm repeating what some of what I said last night, right? But um, my mind gets kind of all fucking foggy and um, all. Uh, clouded and confused and shit like that with various thoughts. It could just be there's just too much shit going on in my head. It could be too many negative things going on in my head, too many worries and shit like that. Start to get all anxious or fucking fed up like that. Really just uh, and fucking and, and, and worked up and all the different ways that all that shit can manifest itself. Anxiety, depression, you know, fucking worked up, just things like that. And I have found that uh, this special, simple meditation technique helps. Helps me. And I'm telling you, as somebody who, I want to go into the antidepressant part again, somebody who was suicidal for various reasons, various kind of fuck ups with my head, right, it's not just as simple as I don't like life, it's various wee fucking things, right, suicidal, went on antidepressants, then came after them and now I'm doing this sort of stuff and it's helping, it's merely a challenge being half antidepressants, I'm fucking talking about antidepressants again, we just forget about that, right, so this meditation thing, so let's get down to business. What is it? For me, I started doing it, and I do it most of the time, actually to get to sleep at night. And like I said last night in the webcam, it's not that I'm, uh, Stuel says, alright Lemmy, did you see me on Woodlands Road, you cycled past me. Uh, Stuel, like I said last night, this is like I'm doing a meditation class here on me. Right, I'm already several fucking minutes into it here. Right, we're not even we're not at the chit chat fucking phase. We're past that. We're past the welcome stuff. Everybody's settled in, and the room is quiet. And you're up the fucking back like, did you see me? Did you, did you see me? Did you, you cycle past us and you're way in? Did you fuck it? Who's this cunt? Just. Fucking tune in. In fact, meditation's for you. It's for you, and it's for you, and it's for you, and it's for you, it's for you, and it's for you. For that, for that reason that you kind of just focus on the the, the thing that is at hand. So, um, I would I date mostly to get to sleep at night. I don't really need to date too much during the day because I'm kind of watching my thoughts. Mindfulness, they call it. Just keep aware, awareness of my thoughts and my emotions and no getting all caught, caught up in it and letting, just letting it happen. Keeping an eye on it. 
Just keeping an eye on when negative things come to mind. Seeing it. Noticing it happen. And trying to do something about it. To get rid of that negative feeling. Because I'm telling you, it's like a fucking gauge. It's like a power meter. So it's like, it's like a meter. It's like a fucking uh, Street Fighter 2 type of meter or whatever you want to. However you want to see it. And the more negative it you are. And I'm not just talking about like. Um, there's something you don't like. You've watched a film that's a lot of shite. I'm not saying you've got to go like. Oh god that was fantastic. I don't mean like that. I mean. You get winged up in a way. There's nothing you can do about it. You're just kind of moaning. Just that fucking happiness. And energy. Goes down and down and down. Until you're worn out. Try and keep it. Try not let that fucking get done. See it like a game. Try not let that get done. That's no meditation, by the way, that's that mindfulness thing I'm telling you about. Anyway, meditation, that's what you're here for. That's what you're here for. <sighs> I saw you and all, Keys, I saw a lot of yous when I was out on my bike, just to let yous know if you're thinking of interrupting again. I saw a lot of yous the day when I was out on my bike. Now, so, um, so here's this meditation thing. Like I said last night, I'm a spiritual, I don't believe in the soul and uh, the things like that. So this isn't some kind of, you know, we're going to a higher plane. But if you're that way inclined, then you'd see it like that. Whatever it fucking is, whatever you want. I'm just talking about a feeling. Um, aye. So I'd do meditation mostly while going to sleep at night to try and get to sleep. I don't really have problems going to sleep, but it kind of helps because, because, um, like I write things and stuff like that, it's difficult to go like that, right, now I stop. This is when I stop writing and I try to go to sleep. It's wee thoughts kind of going around in my head and shit like that, so it's a good way of being able to switch stuff off and stop thinking about things, especially negative things, but it's, it's a good way to stop fucking thinking about it things and what a day is this um it's um I, i'm really sorry that i'm repeating everything i said last night but i want to do it again because i went on for too long like i'm doing night um it's shut your eyes nice and quiet no being interrupted you're in bed right shut your eyes and then you're just focusing on your breathing it's focusing on your breathing. You're not trying to control your breathing. You're not trying to slow your breathing down or anything like that. But if you do, if you do happen to slow your breathing down, right, that's good. But that's not really what you're trying to do. You're not trying to go like that. You're not trying to do that. You're just observing your breathing. And you're using your breathing, you're using your lungs and your natural reflex um, um, thing of breathing your thing of breathing that thing you do to focus on something some people might focus on a candle or some shit like that right? but um, you focus on your breathing and like I said last night you kind of try to take your mind off all these wee thoughts, negative or otherwise, and just put them into the distance, put them away, put them onto your head. The purpose being that you just get a feeling that kind of maybe it's like escaping the feelings or it's maybe getting a break for them. It's maybe allowing your brain to fucking relax or switch off for it all in the same way that you need to actually just sleep gives you just a wee bit of time to to uh, step step away from all the all that shite clear it out of your head even if it's temporarily just to get a wee bit of breather to get some kind of clarity you feel you're getting all fucking wrapped up in it. You're maybe blowing things out of proportion. We and that type of thing. We never intended to but, even um, be a band. We never intended. And people really right, so, dug it. So There's from cool little indie. There's this people is, this that is have been my number one obsession right. since I was. I mean, it's not necessarily last word. Um, right. I'm going to, um, putting out a biography. 
very soon and I've been trying. Paul Goldstoner says, my brain never switches off, right? You're not trying to switch off your brain, because here's the technique. I'm lying there. And maybe thought about one or two wee things, right? And I go, right, I make a decision, I'm going to start meditating. And what I do is, I just focus on my breathing. I just watch my breathing. Just notice my breathing going in, in it, in, in it. And I especially notice, not so much the whole in, but actually when it turns from breathing in, to breathing out, to breathing in, to breathing out. And I just focus on how that does it. My body does that all by itself. It's not something I have to think about. It just does that, and I just focus on it. I just focus on it. I focus my attention on that. Driveway cam says, "What does that help?" I don't know if you're what you're saying, right? But anyway, by focusing on that, I'm taking my attention off of everything else. So some other thought might pop into my mind, something about that day. I make a decision to no think about it. That sounds easier said than done, right? It's going to keep coming back. Well, whatever thought it is, keep coming back. But you just focus more on your breathing. Just be very interested in your breathing. Make it the most... Make your mind... Make your breathing the thing you are the most interested in. As you're doing that. As I said last night, it's kind of like two people talking to you at the same time. If you see your breathing as the one one person, and thoughts and stuff like that is the other person, that other person that you don't want to hear right now, the two of them are talking at the same volume right at you, but you're able to tune out of that person by listening, by focusing your attention on that person. It's just It's just like that. You're not really able to shut that other person up. But you have the ability to focus your attention on that other thing. Somebody's up and aye, 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 but what about that, but what about this? You're just focusing your attention on the other thing, more than what you're doing with that. And you just keep doing it. And you keep doing it. And you keep doing it. And you just keep focusing your attention on your breathing could be for 10 minutes, 5 minutes, half an hour, but you just keep doing it, focusing it, and it might sometimes feel like a fucking tennis, you're just constantly hitting this ball back all the time, or these thoughts that pop into your mind, faces, places, spaces, maces, races, One male, daisies. Daisies. That doesn't mean about aces, but I said daisies. Keep, they keep coming into your mind. Mew Mew says, do you fall asleep? Well, sometimes I just, before I know it, I'm waking up the next day. That's it. But before that happens, this is kind of the point, of it, right? If, if you're, you're doing it during the day, and this is, this is how it feels in my head anyway. I get to a point where I keep kind of hitting these thoughts away, kind of pushing them away. I'm not fucking... I'm not really trying to... It, it, it doesn't feel like... Sometimes it can feel like a wee bit of fucking war if it's happening during the day, but in at night, it's kind of difficult to push thoughts away. But like I said, you keep focusing on your breathing. Something pops into your mind, a, a place. Just think about it, just thinking about that breathing. I don't know. You just, nothing fucking but the breathing. Your work. Oh, breathing. The most important thing here 
thing that's keeping me alive and it's happening all by itself, you're breathing. You. It's fucking there. It's there, walking away, breathing for you all the time. So that's not some app. If you've got an app or anything like that, that's good, right? But it's not some app or something made by somebody else or anything like that. That's you. You're able to turn your attention, focus your attention on you. You're breathing. I think it's keeping you alive. You can depend on it. It's there. And you're just focusing on your breathing. You keep doing it, keep doing it. The point there is, if you keep doing that, this is, um, this is how it feels for me, right? If you keep doing that for long enough, eventually get to this kind of wee state where the thoughts kind of don't keep coming back as much. You really are. It's as if your mind, it's as if your mind, imagine there's various things that have happened during the day or various things that have happened in your life or whatever it is. They, they keep going round, they keep looping all the time. They keep kind of pestering you. They keep going round and round. Seven or eight fucking things, maybe two or three things, just going round and round and round. Again and again and again, just kind of going like that. Kind of go like that, keep constantly fucking going like that to get your attention. There's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of the way the mind works. It wants to fucking help you. It's trying to remind you of stuff. But sometimes it's a pain in the arse. And that's what's good about this. Because if you focus your attention on your breathing for long enough. And you just keep focusing on it. Sometimes it drifts for a few minutes. You fucking, you just realise. Wait a minute, you weren't thinking about your breathing there. You drifted off and then you come back to it. Eventually. Your mind gaze up on that, the repetitive thoughts. That's how it feels for me anyway. And I do have fucking repetitive thoughts, right? So I don't know what you're like. But I think if it works for me, there's maybe a good chance it'll work for you. Because um, I think it's fucking, you know, it drives me mental, that kind of thing. So um, it's as if the mind just goes like, right, right, fuck it. That kind of thing, that looping thought, fuck it, he's, he's not having it. He or she, sorry. He's not having it. And it just sort of dies away, almost chemically, whatever it is. Don't really know much about, so, you know, the fucking receptors and shit like that. Whatever the fuck it is, it keeps the thoughts going. It's if it just kind of dies away. It just goes, it's not like, fuck it, leave it. And you're left with just you... And you're breathing in a way. You're left with something like fucking within. You're left with a clarity. Something changes in your head. It's like you're, you're like in a, a calm or you're in the moment. You're not thinking about the future or the past. And you've... Um, well, try it anyway. Definitely see if you can uh, try it the night. If you've never done it before, or you have done it before and you've not had a lot of success, if it doesn't work the night, don't fucking worry about it because it's the, like, the first time you're trying it or maybe the second time you're like, oh, you, you desperately want it to work. The reason why you're doing it is because, probably because you're not a relaxed person or there's something bothering you or you want some kind of wee fucking... You want to be able to push thoughts out of your mind or get a better control of your mind. So you're probably really, really fucking eager for it to work. So you'd probably be fucking, oh, why, is that, why is this not working? And just don't think about it. That's natural. It's natural to really want it to work. You really want this to work. You really hope this works. Fuck me, if this doesn't work, then I know it. Like, all that sort of shit, right? But just focusing on your breathing. That's it. It's the breathing. That's it. Focus on your breathing. Eventually your mind becomes less cluttered during that wee session. And then see what happens. 
see what happens. See if you get that feeling that you, that you think that I'm describing. If you do it long enough. Doesn't work the night, try it the morrow, try it the morrow during the day maybe. For be ten minutes or something. But the breathing, the breathing, the breathing. And then, if you get that feeling, and then you can sort of decide what you want to fucking do with it. It could just be enough... Um, and enough of a wee moment of clarity for you to go, that's just what I, that's just what I was after, just a wee fucking oh and it, to me when when it happens, if I'm getting all kind of worked up, it's the difference between being in that kind of worked up motherfucking way and then no being in that worked up way, nothing's fucking changed nothing's changed just, I've, I've managed to chill my mind out or whatever, whatever it is Mani, man, Manian, say, uh, sorry if I've mispronounced your name, I'll go for man, Manich, breathe from the stomach or diaphragm, doesn't really matter, just, just your normal breathing, like I said, you're no trying to control it, you're no trying to control it, you're just watching your breathing, as you're doing it, you might, you might change your breathing, you might go like that, You might prefer to take kind of deep breaths or whatever, but I prefer to just see what happens. Sometimes I breathe out. And don't breathe back in for quite a while. That just sort of naturally happens as if... I just I just let it happen if, if that just happens to happen. Like, just to see... At what point is my body, is my reflex, uh, my subconscious, whatever it is, it controls the lungs, deciding right to breathe back in again? I'm just watching it. That's all it is. And keep focusing. I know I keep repeating it, right? And I'll shut up now and I'll fucking get off the webcam. But just keep focusing your attention on it. You'll It'll go away, it'll stray, keep bringing it back. It might drift off, keep bringing it back. This isn't the bottom, this is it. Just keep bringing it back to the breathing. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't be ignoring that thing. I mean, I need to think about this, how I'm going to work that thing out. Just keep back, bring it back to the breathing. Just keep bringing it back to that. And I've got different, um, different thoughts about that whole thing that's helped me. It helps me temporarily, it helps me like during the day if something something happens. I don't really need to date much. I've not been really needing to date much recently but I did it I think maybe last week and the week before during the day. I found myself kinda of, a wee bit in a bad mood or something like that before I stepped out the door and I went like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna take a fucking moment to get my head in the right fucking uh the right state of mind, I'm going to get myself in the right state of mind before I even step out the fucking door here. Because something's up. Something's up. I'm fucking... Something pissed off, fucking walked up about something. So just breathing. In the toilet, I think. I was just sitting in the toilet. I wasn't doing a shite or anything like the pan was doing. Just just don't think about all that. Just kind of sitting there like that. Eyes shut like that. My mind sort of wants to go, oh, I've not got time for this, just get out of the fucking door, come on, come on. I start to see things behind my eyes, you know, like kind of shadowy things that form pictures, make me think about certain things. Breathing. The breathing. The breathing. The breathing. Eventually, shite kind of leaves your mind, and then you can maybe start to look at one or two wee thoughts you want to think about. One shake that clutters maybe out your head, you can start to go, ah, oh, right. You can start to think about maybe some of the things that, um, 
might make you feel good about better, better, better about your life or better about you, or um, some way put your situation into perspective or whatever it is. One of my things is I like to think about how at some point I'm going to be fucking dead. The whole fucking thing's going to be dead. The whole planet's going to be dead. We're all fucked. I don't mean that in a bad way, actually. We're all fucked. That sounds depressing, but I just mean... Um, the, all these things, I think, are really, really important. Really, really, really important because that's one of the things that wind me up. It might be different for you. Your reason for it. Uh, maybe feel mentally unwell, whatever it is. But that's one of my things, really putting a lot of importance on certain things. And it gives me a wee chance to remind myself, well, none of this really matters, just... Things need to get done, the things that need to get done, need to get done, aye. But remember, that in the big scheme of things, none of this is important. Really, like really important. It's important in your life to like earn money and not get kicked out your house and shit like that, right? But getting all walked up and getting really fucking unhappy about it and that type of thing, it just doesn't help. It rarely fucking helps. That kind of thing can kind of motivate you to do things. You've been so fucking pissed off. But if it's really starting to fuck your mental health, make you fucked up, really depressed, or wound up, suicidal, and all that, it isn't fucking helping. So if you can get yourself away where you feel like, even in the midst of bad shit going on in your head, you can find a wee place where it's you can you can calm down, and it's, you've got a wee escape. You've got a wee fucking a wee room. A wee quiet room in, in your head. You can take that with you anywhere. Liam says easier said than done though. It is easier said than done. But you're, I'm not talking about saying it. I'm talking about doing it. So this is a bit. You're doing something about it. I'm not saying. Go out and, go out and earn a fucking. 200 grand a year, go out and date, stop talking about it, then I'm not talking about things like that. I'm talking about your mind. I'm talking about something you can, you can fucking, um, you can take, um, you can control. You can control, even if it's just for 10 minutes, just 5 minutes, quarter an hour, just enough time for you to, um, just put that stuff out your head. Just that can be enough to get you through a day, a shite. It, it can be just enough to fucking snap you in a way of thinking. It can lead you to think seriously fucking dark fucking thoughts. I mean, just the, the, the last week or the week before, I can't remember. Um, I did get something into my mind, I was starting to get wound up in a way that I used to get when I was feeling suicidal, I'm talking about like, before the antidepressant, so maybe, maybe like last Christmas or after like, just moved into this house, had to fucking pure day it up and all that, and never had a fucking kitchen for ages, everything was all shite, everything had to get done, all this fucking stuff, by the way, I, I know how daft that sounds, I never had a kitchen for ages, it was, Many fucking things was a kind of stressful fucking time, right? That, on top of me already getting easily stressed out and all that, put it all together, and I was, um getting into fucking, really, really worn out through my mind, and I was wanting to fucking talk myself, why is every cunt fucking out? Why are cunts arguing in this fucking, I'm talking about meditation here, and you are all fucking chatting. Look, See, that's just gonna... See, the people are can just get some time boots on the go. Come on, get, get his time boots on the go here. Get some time boots here. My God. I'll fucking pay you mods for, man. What are you for? Um. So that's what I'm saying. I know, I know that...
I know that it, it can sound like um, all you need to do is meditate and your life will be fucking brilliant. I'm talking about, um, I, what I was saying was, I felt myself about two weeks ago starting to kind of get that wound up way. <sighs> like that, just this kind of, um, sometimes I get a self pitying way a bit more, a lack of assertiveness. Where, and, and I used to um, self harm and all that, right? I used to cut myself up when I was a teenager, and I put it down to a lack of assertiveness, a lack of um, confidence, self confidence, and being able to um, kind of assert my personality in a way. Kind of lack of confidence and being able to go, like that. here's who I am. Here's what I do, and I'm not even talking about really wanting to come out my fucking shell and be all mad and everything like that. I was never like pure shy. Just, um, uh, just, if I do this, it wasn't even like a conscious thing, I'm going to cut myself up, show people, and then they'll see there's something up with me. But it was kind of like that, just by, by kind of cutting myself up or whatever. Maybe I felt like I was doing something, or I wanted to in some way draw attention in myself. I couldn't just come out and just fucking be me about certain emotions, about certain things. So maybe that was somewhere in it. And that sort of thing still weigh me. I don't fucking cut myself up anymore. But there's that kind of thing lingering. Well, rather than just go like, no! Or I am, no I'm doing it. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm not talking about cutting myself up, I'm talking about just things. I am, this is what I want to do and I'm doing it. Or, no I don't want to do it, I, just, I don't want to do it, so I'm not doing it. And being alright with it. I'll go, right, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I don't want to do it, but I'll do it. I'll do it. And just accepting. That kind of thing. And knowing that it will hurt me. And just doing it, and just doing it anyway, I don't want to do it. And um, in a way, wanting to fucking feel bad. In a way, wanting to fucking implode and cave in. Wanting to, in effect, oh, but nobody cut myself up or anything. But mentally and emotionally, wanting to fucking, having to cave in. Wanting to lose everything, that kind of thing, just get this here and done me because I don't want to fucking be um, assertive or fight back or um, anything like that. Do what I want, just fuck it like that. So no, the man he says guilt trip, I don't even know if it's like a guilt trip, it's um, I don't know, I don't know what it's, it's called. Self fucking sabotage or something, I don't know, it's not even as simple as that, but. I noticed it popping up again about three weeks ago, I think. I noticed it right away because I never had a toy during the whole time and I had to depress. I noticed it right away and I fucking went into the kitchen. This is what I said last night. Um, on the webcam, I was talking about it last night. I just went to the kitchen and went like, right. And I did the uh, whole meditation thing. And um, I did the focus on the breathing. I was just stalling up in the kitchen. I was not lying down in my bed with a light off, I was just standing up in the kitchen. I just started thinking about my breathing. Nothing else. Didn't try to, to, to think about what I should do or what I should say or anything like that. None of that. Just about the breathing. Nothing but that. And the effect it has on me when I do that is... It's a feeling that the part of me that is underneath all these wee neuroses and shit like that, or all these wee hang-ups or whatever you want to call them, underneath or within all that, protected through all that, or before all that happened in my life and shit like that, you know, all the fucking stuff that happens, there's just this back to, it's almost like back to fucking, um, a point in me that's completely untouched. Can I be touched? It's just nice and fucking pure, nice and simple. The part of me 
but isn't locked up, isn't he? You know that type of thing. So um, and when I did that, when I went to the kitchen to do that, I managed to get myself a getting that wound up way that was seriously day after day gradually making me fucking suicidal to smiling I was smiling maybe within 5 or 10 minutes a day that meditation just by thinking about, thinking about it then when my mind was kind of a bit clearer remind myself you know this is not fucking big deal the whole thing the whole thing you're here then you're gone just try and enjoy it try and enjoy it or have a sense of humour about it if there's something you don't like that you have today and that's it try and have a sense of humour about it or or even say it's fucking crap but in a kind of empowered sort of fucking way I know it sounds wanky but no in a kind of it's fucking crap it's fucking shit just in a kind of laugh it says fucking shit like that in a way that at least gives you fucking energy gets the energy back in you rather than you feeling tired but that's not how I had to feel on that occasion. I didn't have to do the whole fucking, this is fucking shit, isn't it? This is shit. It was just a wee feeling that, um, this calmness. The thoughts had gone. Just for a wee moment, I was able to think without all that, or, or without all the rest of it. And I was able to just go like that. So I kind of bubble in a way. Just, I just kind of felt nice and calm. And... Right. And then we'll just have a fucking laugh. So that we kind of talked to myself just for about 10 fucking seconds, 15 seconds. And I just started fucking smiling. Honestly, a nice big fucking smile, a nice wave of fucking happiness. Because I'd went for feeling that way to know. And I'm fucking telling you, it, it was kind of like being on antidepressants. It was the nice kind of wave of happiness that I got. And I was just like, thank, thank fuck. Thank fuck this is in my fucking heat that I've got this fucking ability to do it and I think you've got the ability to do it. Obviously lots of people have got the ability to do it otherwise I wouldn't be saying the word meditation because I wouldn't know what the fuck it was. So that's it. Um, so just to repeat what I was saying. If you're trying it the night before you, uh, when you're in bed going to sleep just focus on your breathing. Thoughts will pop into your mind. Thoughts about this webcam will pop into your mind. Focus on your breathing more than that. All the thoughts that pop into your mind. Focus on your breathing more. Just focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing. Just keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. And there's, there's odd occasion for me. I just can't fucking do it. Been at it for like half an hour. No. They just keep fucking drifting back in. Right? You just persist. Just persist. That's the that's the main thing. So like fucking stare it. So like stare it. Or See who can hold their breath for the longest or something like that. It can be like that. You'll fucking, you'll win. You might not think it will happen. To begin with, you might, you might think, oh, this is fucking useless. But I'm fucking telling you, just keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because once it happens the first time, if it's never happened, 
for you when you get to that nice wee frame of mind. You can almost fucking feel it click. You can feel a kind of whoosh. Depending, that's my head anyway. No, our brains are the same. But if you get it that first time, you'll know that it can happen for you. And you'll be back doing it again. Because you know what? Isn't it just some fucking myth? Isn't it some kind of lot of shit that people are imagining? It's a it's a fucking it's a it's a really good clear calm feeling or at least it's clearer and calmer than what you were before you started doing it and that's the fucking main thing so that's so that's that so try it try it tonight focusing on the breathing and really and I mean clearing everything out of your fucking head I mean every Every last thought, everything, everything I'm seeing here, and fucking notepad, 40, packet of crisps, the, the paint in the fucking wall, problems you've got with internet, the fucking phone, everything, get rid of it all, when it pops out of your mind, push it away, think more about your breathing, but how can you no think about something, how can you no think about something, you're not trying to no think about it in a way, you're just focusing more on your breathing and by doing that, that gets pushed away. Your mind just can't think about it all at the one time if you focus on one thing. So that's that, right? I'm repeating myself now, but so try that, try it the night if you've never done it before, try it. Or if you've tried it before and it hasn't worked or you've not done it for a while, try it tonight. Try it tonight. Try it tomorrow, try it tomorrow night. Just try it, keep doing it. It's fucking real and it feels good. I want you to fucking try it and I want it to work. Because it fucking will work. Work for me. It work for me and my head's away the fucking place. You know me? Fucking bonkers. I'm, I, I'm mad me. <laughs> Funny time on it. Fuck, imagine what we mean in an office. You'd be like, oh God, here he is again. Right, I'll see you later. Have a fantastic night. Get a, get a fucking shot. Get a shot. For 15 minutes. 15 minutes or fucking half an hour. A whole fucking hour. Keep at it.